Okay, in this video, I am going to program Casio FX9750 G2 for CCA textual calculation. So we're gonna go ahead, turn the calculator on, and it, it we go to the programs, press execute. So I already have one. I'm just gonna do one from new. So what you do is you go to the new, and then first thing we're gonna name the program. So we have um, all the alphabets here, A, B, C, D, E, everything is written. So what I'm going to name is um, C, 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 A, let's name this um, C, C, A. Uh, let's name it C, C, A, text, T, A, X, okay, execute, that will be the name. So first thing we are going to do is um, first we have to put uh, quotation marks to begin. So we go to F6 and then um, we go again uh, F2 and quotation marks are the second one. Execute. Then we are going to put input. So the alphabets might change when you enter the amount so um, when you type in anything so let's see we're gonna try with i so it doesn't do it's not pressing the i it's pressing the bracket sign so we're gonna go delete and then if we put alpha sign it will go back to the alphabets okay so if you do um alpha sign each time we'll have to change so we're gonna put input that's I. Let's try with N whether it goes back or not. I N. So it went back to eight. So what we're gonna do is shift and then alpha sun. I N P U T. This is space input and then input C then we'll put quotation signs for that we'll have press F6 second button press enter and we're gonna put question mark we we'll go back to F6 again and this is the question mark press enter then we'll put an arrow this is the arrow We'll put arrow and then we will put oh it didn't press arrow so let's see Just mark so it is going back to the L let's keep pressing L because I did shift so we'll just delete that we'll put alpha again now we'll put arrow and now you have to type in C so we'll put alpha one time I will put C and then we put enter so we're gonna do this um, one two three four five six times when we get C and we'll put D then we'll put T then we'll put R we'll put S and then we'll put N for the time so let's see um, again F6 marks input so it's I M P U T space D F6 mark F6 question mark and then alpha arrow sign and then alpha again and then D enter F6 quotation alpha 
i but it's going to go back so i should have done shift and then alpha t quotation mark so f6 and then question mark which is error and then arrow so we have to go back alpha again and then alpha again for t enter f6 quotation marks shift and alpha for input Space R and then we have to put the arrow sign again, so alpha and I'll put alpha again for R enter. And again, quotation marks. So shift and alpha for input. And now we put S and then quotation marks question mark and then alpha again and then s oh sorry um, arrow and then s yep so alpha s enter and the last one Then alpha again for arrow and then alpha again for n and then we press enter so we pretty much put in all the input values now we're gonna put the formula so when you put in the formula be very careful if you get anything wrong it will not work so we're gonna start with uh, two bracket signs then we're gonna put C times D times T. So alpha C times alpha D times alpha T. Now we're gonna close the first bracket and then divide it by again bracket D oops so for alpha D plus alpha R now we're gonna close close times open two times one plus open once more 0 0.5 
times alpha r close bracket twice divided by 1 plus alpha r close it twice minus this is the second part of the formula which is alpha s times alpha d times alpha t close bracket divided open bracket alpha d plus alpha r close it twice times open bracket 1 divided by open bracket 1 plus alpha r close bracket to the power of alpha n and close it and then press enter exit so this is the new one I put in this one I had before so we're gonna try this one so input the amount of C whatever the amount you have just gonna put in 10 secret 10 10 10 10, 10. and uh, let's put one let's put 10 okay so this is the new formula which I just did 27.27 however I have the old formula which I used it I know how it works so we're gonna do the same thing 10s plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, plus 10, 10. so exactly the same again so I don't have any question with me right now so you can't really try it but um, once you do it and you try it you will know how it works and if you want to this is how you exit you just go back exit and you go to the menu you come to the main menu so if you want to go back to the program again it is you go back and if you want to make any changes this is uh, where you can add it make a new formula delete the old ones let's see delete f6 so it's asking whether you want to delete the first one it is highlighted so actually I don't want to do that so press F6 and um, if you want to use it so you go to the one whatever you want to use and you press execute and it will ask you so you can really exit from now here you can go back to the menu if you go back it will bring you back here so you actually kind of have to do the whole thing fully to get out of this one now you can exit menu and shift okay thank you